In addition to backup set transfers, Retrospect also offers a snapshot transfer option, available by going to Tools and going to Transfer Snapshots on the left side. By going to the source of, the, of this particular transfer operation, we can see that Retrospect will allow us to select specific snapshots. It'll also allow us to transfer all snapshots and the associated files. By using the bottom option here to select only the most current versions during transfer, we can have Retrospect transfer only the most recent data from each computer to our destination backup set. This can greatly reduce the amount of data being written to your destination set, allowing for a more streamlined off-site backup. We click OK, and then we can go to our destination and choose the backup set that we want to use for storing the destination data. When we go to options, we see some options that we saw during the other transfer uh, type. We have data compression for the destination, we can recycle the source backup set after the transfer, and we can transfer specific intermediate database snapshots. We also have, under more choices, the options for matching. And once again, the matching options will allow you to transfer data without duplicating your efforts on your destination backup set. So if you were to stop the transfer and then had to start it again two days later, it's not going to retransfer files that you've already copied. It'll just grab the things that are, no long, that are not yet in the destination backup set. 